Hey guys, we're back with the letter. When we last left off, we we're on Luke's route and we're nearing the climax. Luke had a confrontation with the ghost and he was like, no. When the ghost was like, hey, come to the ghost room with me. I'm a cute girl. The ghost isn't a cute girl anymore. What, wasn't she like burned? Here, what, what did we find? Uh, uh, well, something happened to her and we found out in Rebecca's route. It's been like a month or two. Probably even longer than... Like two months, probably. If not more than since then. <laughs> so, anyway. They said, who are you? Last time. St stay away! Oh yeah, wait. The memory fragments also became important as Luke kind of like saw a flashback of all the ones we've gathered. In this playthrough. Because, you know, we also have the Marianne one from when we reloaded, but... Sweet dreams, my love, will be over soon. <laughs> Ghost, please. Stop. November 1st, Tuesday. Here it is. Yet in spite of the unfamiliar voices and unwanted touches from the shadows lurking in the dark, drowsing is a slow, arduous process. Difficult, every limb heavy with lead. No matter, no matter my aversion for the words that murmur in my ears or the sight of her horrid smile from afar, my body refuses to yield. I am at their mercy. The unfathomable reason, my consciousness refuses to follow the waking world, choosing to linger in the pits of a dream, gradually drawing me deeper into unknown depths. Just wanted to look at relationship. Right, right, with Hannah, it's kind of, kind of bad. Oops. Everybody likes Isabella. Well, except Hannah and Luke. It's base level. I think the line decides... Well, aside from being the base mark, if it's above the line, that means they like you. If it's below the line, that means they don't like you. I don't know if I should take it that right way or not. Somehow, even if it might mean I may never open my eyes, I'll allow them. You do not belong there, my prince. Now that I don't mind getting a few extra hours, of course. But it's more comfortable as it is. Let's just ignore that creepy whisper. <laughs> and after an exhausting day yesterday... Maybe sitting Kylie, the stress of finding an intruder in my own home, not to mention those bloody eyeballs they left. I think I deserve a little break. Every once in a while, especially after going through all that in a single day, I can only be on the receiving end of so many unacceptable things within the span of a few hours, you know? As gracious as a host and person I am, my patience has its limits too. Although there's still that problem with Hannah, I haven't forgotten that of course, but that's why I hired Shroken. This cupboard enough, it won't even last a day in my service if it is any lesser than those halfwits. I think they can deceive me with sweet words. He's more than capable of working on his own without guidance. Let the butler take care of that little problem with Hannah while I... Hannah. You do not need her. Ghost, stop, stop this propaganda. And Hannah was pretty cool, I guess. She was okay. Look, look how simple her tree is. I miss these days. Right, hers was basically the same as Isabella. A little bit more complex. But basically because, you know, her, her and Isabella never interact, basically. Anyway. I am here. We are here. This is where your home is. Will you belong for the blood we share? Well, what does blood we share mean? So are they, like, related? Come back to us. How long has it been since? Jones has never taken this long before. Surely there should have been an update by now. <clears throat> Alright. So why isn't it there? Go. Go. Please. Please don't go. Bloody hell, the Cretans I've surrounded myself with. Isn't that enough reason to force myself out of bed? Just ignore the whispering. Nope. <laughs> As it always has been the case. <sighs> My eyes fly open, expecting the warm rays of sunshine filtering through the curtains. Only to be greeted by a blinding flash of light and a loud boom of thunder, it sounded nearly too close to my ears. Strong gusts of wind will occasionally burst in from the open balcony door, bringing in drizzles of cold rain into the room. I must have left it open earlier before dozing out, the carpet on the floor closest to it already drenched. Anna's going to be so cross when she sees this. Now that, this is, now that it's an immediate problem, anything is this power outage we should be mining first. With the intruder still at large, straight through this darkness, 
might be far more fatal than multiple stab wounds or a gunshot to the chest. Ah, oh, great. The power's still out. That is exactly what I need right now. Yes. It's the storm, of course. What, one thing I like about Luke's voice acting, I don't think he's my favorite voice actor in this game. Zachary being second. I, I, Zachary kind of nails like the whole you know joke scenes with you know Ashton and Isabella and Rebecca, but... Oh, like, great. The power's still out. Yeah, it's like the all That is great. exactly what I need right now. A lot of voice yes. actors just, you know, read straight off the script, you know, read exactly what it is. But, you know, he ended that O and the ch. I just think that's, that's nice. That's probably, you know, how the line should be read, you know, not... You, you, you get what I mean. Anyway. Should have moved back to the penthouse to weather it in a much more comfortable setting. Alright, you can hear the creaking groans of this old place as Granny beats against the windows. Johans! Has someone been sent to take the circuit breaker yet? No answer. Johans! Silence. Shroken! Someone! Anyone? Still nothing, and my cordial mood is quickly dissipating. <sighs> Where are those idiots when you need them? Did he fall asleep in his suit? It's really a wonder why he hasn't fixed this yet. Is it really out that long? Can't be. It's only been a few hours after midnight. It's time I'm wearing your wristwatch is anything to go by. I was forgotten to change it again after that last overseas trip a month ago. The delay is understandable. If you want looking for Hannah, as he promised. But bloody heck, my safety is also at stake here. Cursing, I stay still, and my eyes try to adjust for the darkness while my hands fumble for my slippers. If the butler isn't going to fix this, may as well order the security posted outside to do it. It's probably just a blunt fuse. Anyone, anyone with a brain can repair one. This isn't gonna end well. Grabbing my jacket and my, with footwear finally on, I make for the door. Although in a haste, I pre pause briefly with he wears his shoes inside. Huh. That's, that's one of those things that it just differs person to person, really. Like, I, I don't wear my shoes inside. Why would I? Anyway. Although in a haste, I pause briefly when a gleam catches my eye. One of my drawers, underneath the clutter if you get to organize, the muzzle of a gun peeks out. Hannah has never openly commented on my possession of it, and I know she does not approve of it, knowing the bloody firearms policy in this nation. Of course, not found much use for it in the seven years we've been together, otherwise she would have already had it thrown out years ago. Doesn't mean it won't be useful right now. That second thought, I seize it, sending this stuff piled above and onto the floor. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll get to it later. This blackout problem should be resolved first. Of course, right after I made the effort, and I've already dressed it on my feet, not even waiting for my permission, the door swings open and in comes Stroken. Straight into the room like he owns the place. No respect for authority at all. Though does pause midway to glance at where I'm at once he notices the empty bed. The look on his face when his eyes land on me. Can decide if he's simply cautious or scandalized. Last I've checked, I look decent enough. Is the hair? Oh, you're already up. Oh really? Why do I let him get away with such disrespect? Why do I keep anyone? Sometimes I think I'm better off alone, you know? Then again, wouldn't have anyone to boss around if they look Did you come in here just to sass me? And before you do that, I'll have you know that I've been calling you for a good- We have a problem. He says that if he's, as if he's simply walking about the weather, not a problem problem. Not that I find anything new in it. Man's humor has always been as dry as a bone. You won't even know he's told a joke until there's an awkward silence in the room. Probably why this hurts me. Because there's one thing, ever since we started living in this mansion, it has remained consistent. It's that word. Somehow, every single day we have to deal with a problem. Not entirely sure how exactly he's expecting me to re react to dropping another bomb like that on me. Just after waking up with that, top of hand I'm missing, this power failure, and that woman that keeps trespassing in my home. Forgive me, I have every right to be this cheesed off in the middle of the night. I'm cheesed off. What do you mean we have a problem? Haven't we had enough for one night? Good lord. Do I have to be the one to fix everything, every little issue that pops up in this house? Do I have to be there every single time? Can't you just fix it? My men know I dislike doing light work, unless it's of the utmost necessity and importance. If I did do something on my own, it is only done in the diaries of situations. That or I must be very, very bored. I can, but I thought you might want to see this one for yourself before any disposal occurs. For all my exasperation over this, he sure does know how to get me interested. Where? He's in the study right now. Sound asleep, though it won't be long before he wakes up. I found him nosing around the attic. Odd, if you ask me. Not quite sure why he went there. A door away, and he would have gotten easily to you. 
Unless you're not the reason why he's here. He? So there are, what, two different people trying to get to me? That's already one too many to deal with. What's wrong with these Possibly. people? Possibly. There might be more. You really aren't a likable sort. True. And this shouldn't be surprising anymore. Didn't you used to count how many enemies you've made? I believe it was a yearly thing. Or have you already stopped? Normally I'd point out Hannah likes me well enough. After all, that's all that matters. Or at least you used to. We haven't been exactly in good terms lately for that statement to be true. Why do you even care if I'm still counting or not? And while wasting time here. Come on now, lackey. If you say he's in the study, to the study we go. And mush. Sometimes I must wonder how well you sleep at night. And why I haven't smothered you yet. <laughs> can only laugh at me. He's gonna shake my head as I step out. Journal. Remember first. We just started this recording, right? Yeah, ten minutes. Uh, Luke Wright woke up to a storm raging outside, and with his whole house eerily quiet. Power was still off and no one answered, when he called out. To his relief, Johanna showed up moments later, bringing news he might be interested in. I don't grace this question with an answer, though I have something in mind. Perhaps it's because I'm a fun boss. And tonight, we're really going to have lots of fun! I haven't looked forward to something in a while. Well, I don't think I've done this enough these past few years. It does actually feel quite refreshing to be back doing what I'm used to, even if it's only for one night. I, I thought this was going to paint the whole torture thing in a more positive light for Luke. You know, like his wife's missing, you know. He, he just wants to get to the bottom of this. No, no, he just likes torturing people. After we're done with him and get what we need from him, there'll be one less problem to worry about. Win-win, if, if anyone bothers asking me. Things are finally looking up. It is so unconscious when we march into the study. Though, with the rolling pin sitting so completely out of place atop my desk, not shocked. Getting hit by one must have dislodged his brain by a few paces. In fact, I'm more than willing to bet he'll be up until sunrise. He's just hoping that the way Shroke and his captain won't damage him first. Being bad like that is guaranteed to cut off circulation in his arms at some point. Painful, or is the fun of that? Is the gal, though. Walking, he has, yeah, okay, walking to my home, looking like a little pig fresh off bathing under the sun, rolling in a patch of mud. Just because you're trespassing or about to kill someone, doesn't mean you have the right to walk into other people's homes dirty. <laughs> really, slashing your muddy boots about and soling the floors? No wonder he has the metal rolling pin and not the pan. Bloody, even my late mom, bless your poor tortured soul, won't tolerate that. Where are his manners? <laughs> oh, it's fair, though. It's fair. Like, it's torture's fair. If you walk in muddy boots? Come on! I swear, people need to stop breaking into my house. What is wrong with all these lunatics? You'd think they'd put more thought before stumbling into somebody else's home unannounced. I suppose the act of committing crime must have some attraction to the insane. I think we were playing the scene. Of course, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? I'd bloody gut you. But you won't be able to clean up after if you're the sodding corpse, will you? But more than that, look at Pancras's pretty face. My grip is chained with a pink, pink bleed. He appears familiar, just can't recall where I've seen his mug before. Certainly not enough as a frequent, but for someone who looks, well, still not as good looking as me, of course, but to some degree. Luke, Luke X Ashton ending win. <laughs> Decent. He just seems to lack the brain capacity and adequate to complete the package. Disappointing, my lad. Or with that fancy coat, I'd have proved interesting to make up for it. Light marks mar his skin where my nails dig into them. I get to wonder how much more I have to push before I break the skin. I don't have time to figure it out, though. It's a moment later, the little pig stirs with a soft girl. I'd love to see you try. When was the last time you... Oh, there we go. The doom cop is waking up. Fuck. Oh, huh, awake already. He's only been out a few minutes. They played the CG earlier than they did last time. Shrunken, did you not hit him hard enough? Shouldn't he be out longer? That rolling pin was made of metal. His skull must be very thick. Hmm. I only want to knock him out, not kill him, silly man. He doesn't have a spray. If I really wished him dead, I could have easily targeted his terion. That, or the back of his neck, just below the skull. Oh well, look at it this way. It is good news. This means he'll be capable of giving you the answers you seek, yes? True. True. I do have many questions for our trespasser here. At least he does prove to be fun, if a little frustrating with this act. Especially when it's my turn. When was the last time I've had to interrogate anybody? It's been a while, hasn't it? You hope I haven't gotten rusty. But I do remember the basics. One of the first things has to be has to remember is to make sure the poor sap who got this short end of the stick can't fight back. I'm telling you, you saw that letter, didn't you? I don't know how it works, but everyone who's seen it ends up dead, or in an accident if they don't go missing entirely. So for Esther's audio sounds a bit 
depressed there. Maybe that's just me. Second, I think they're skipping some of the dialogue to make this seem faster. I know this sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. And it might even have something to do with why your wife's gone. And we're back to the madman ramblings. He believes me a fool, saying that he came here to help me rather than harm. That isn't the worst excuse I've heard, I don't know what is. I want to make him regret thinking you played me like a- I mean, you just saw a ghost. A couple hours ago. Say it time and time again. You're- I mean- Okay, you see a ghost. Fine. You know, you don't believe someone when they tell you ghosts exist. You see a ghost. In the haunted mansion. You better believe ghosts are real. I mean, come on now. Say it time and time again. So is a certain joy de and having power over another man. Should have friend, Johannes calls it. An absolute power, mind you. Always like a little spark, a little spice, a little fire in my poison of choice. Whether it's alcohol, food, or hand holding, or even enemies. Easy is boring. Little challenge never hurts anybody. Just there's little point in hurting someone who won't even fight back. It's no satisfaction in trying to win a, against a, another who would rather gravel, cry and beg at, at one speed, curl up with a little child wailing for their mother, and. And? When we're done with him. There's a nice plot of land for new daffodils. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? And where was I? Ah, uh, yes. There's a joy in bringing men like the detective to the brink of despair. Have them realize that they have little power in the face of partiality. Making them go see that I'm the better man who's in the business end of my life. While we're at it, why don't you be a good boy and close your eyes? I really don't like the way you're looking at me. If looks could kill, really. I think I'd be dead on the spot. Close your pretty little eyes unless you want me to pluck them out with a Actually, close them! <laughs> Some might call me- Oh, I don't think they played that during Ashley's out. Like that screen. Some might call me a sadist. Some might even go further and call me a monster. No meant to the former. A small part of me fears that I love the thought of bearing, being the latter. But at the end of it all, just a man who hungers. For excitement. For power. For control. Fortunately or perhaps, fortunately for him, he passes out not too long into it. Hanging in limp from where he's been shackled, blood dripping into the floor from every wound we've inflicted on him. Mad props to little pig, though. All that effort from us, and we still got nothing from him. Tough little bastard. Either he's been trained for this, or he's simply lost consciousness before he can spoil anything. Meanwhile, Shroken makes a face at the mess we've made, although wisely keeps his mouth shut. He's in no place to complain, but I've given him enough freedom tonight. And, he, and he's just responsible for this. Without a single comment or a dry quip, he's out the door, muttering something about getting a disinfectant and some cleaning effects from the kitchen, leaving me in silence of the room. Or as silent as it can be with the storm raging outside. The winds have intensified, the windows and rafters have begun creaking in earnest, any harder than I think the whole house might fall. Hope not. I did not live this long to die helplessly under a bunch of century old beams collapsing on me. I'd rather be burned alive and be condemned for my sins, really. It's for a great exit when you think about it, thankfully. It's a thought that it doesn't linger long. Soon enough, Shroken returns, slamming the door open with much force, and almost jump. He looks frazzled, hair in sort of disarray, as if he just made a mad dash from the kitchen where he's seen a ghost. Ha ha ha. Although he's still far from the person panicking, it's the closest he can get to with the wild look in his eyes. And slowly, like he's easing me into it. We have another problem, right? What is it this Again? time? <laughs> Too close. Too close to drawing my gun and just shooting at him. But I don't have the patience of a saint right there and there. You should be grateful this little activity with little pig has taken some of the tension I've been carrying since yesterday. Oh, tell me, Shrokin, Johans, Johans, Johans. How many more of these little problems are there for me to fix tonight? What the bloody fuck is it this time? That inner architect we lost? Inner architect. Interior architect? Did my brain translate that right? Wait, what? Mint? What about Marianne? I found her. Say this isn't worrying me might be a bit of an understatement. Her secure secretary has just called us yesterday, looking for her. Last time people have seen her was before the party. Here. Suddenly she shows up again in the same place she went missing? There might be a whole slew of problems attached to this. What do you, what do you mean you found her? <laughs> I know her assistant said she's been missing over the weekend, but goodness. Did she get locked in where? The, the cupboards? The wine cellar? Well, actually. <laughs> I know she's Irish and they have a reputation, but that's hilarious if true. <laughs> I like that line. 
<laughs> Did she sneak in and get stuck in there? Please don't tell me she's just drinking the weekend away down there. This was this is priceless. I wish Johans would just carry her right out of there just to make fun of her. Oh God, where is she? Oh, I've got to see this for myself. I could use a win tonight. However, there's no humor in the other man's look. Even as I nearly bust my gut laughing. She was in the kitchen when I found her. I tried to bring her with me, but she refuses to go beyond the foyer. I suggest you check on her. A familiar face might help. I'm afraid she's not in a very good state. Ghost, stop flicking the light switch! Without turning on and off the light. So it doesn't take away from my amusement over this. I mean, really? How can anyone get stuck down there? I'm not stroking his face the whole, whole thing. It's as if she's on the brink of starvation. Ha <laughs> Can't be. It's been long enough for her to starve. It'll take three weeks or more for someone to actually starve to death. Moreover, even if it's wine, there's plenty for her to drink. Don't at least keep her going for the three or four days she's been down there. And I do not think she'll appreciate it if you laugh in her face right now. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to admit it's funny. <laughs> Really stares at me. Drier than a dessert, my I add. I mean, is dessert dry? I mean, not that it ever does anything to kill the mood. I mean, I guess like cookies, I mean, I guess cake is, can kind of be dry, but like things like pie? Pies? I want to call it pie dry, no. It's done that plenty of times, and it has to get to work on me. Shouldn't expect it'll work now. You can mope over there if you'd like. I still think it's worth a laugh or two. <laughs> We're just having a good time. Maybe a million. Yeah, they all business and no. Nonsense air. Well, how does it go from laughing to holding a gun at her? <laughs> that she goes and gets herself stuck somewhere in a mansion she's working on? That she has the blueprints to this place. No matter where you look at it, it's funny. And you wonder why people don't last long when they work for you. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just get this whole thing over with. Foyer, right? You're also bringing the gun? Have you found the woman yet? Really, you're missing. Then I'm bringing the gun. And while I'm checking on her, go fix this fuse or whatever caused this power outage. Broken fuse? Despite my lighter mood, there's a long while where the both of us are quiet and nothing but the pitter patter of their game fills the air. Now I leave him for downstairs. Why is it skipping the, the scene transitions? I did that last time too. And uh, here. Unable to get any information on the detective, Johan's left to find something that they could use to clean the bloody mess in the study. When he returned, however, he came to have found the missing interior designer in the kitchen. Something was wrong with her. 22 minutes? I feel like I can call it here, and we might be able to finish it next episode. And I think that'll round it up to a nice 50. So, I think I'll do that. Short one, but it's in preparation for the finale. Hopefully the finale. I don't actually know how long this will go on, but... It's looking like it's gonna be the finale. Like, how far... It, we're, we're right here. I mean, we, we've made a lot of progress this past episode, but we're still really early on. I guess the epilogue could be in this bit, which will make sense. But I mean, huh. I feel like it'd be weird to put that under chapter book, though. Unless that whole epilogue is told from his perspective. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time with some more of the letter. For what may be the finale. Or what may not be the finale. Anyways, See you guys then. Bye.